Eventually, with the health problems that we discussed, especially the diabetes, guess what? Your thing don't work. It's called erectile dysfunction. Okay. Um, diabetes, this, this eating all this sugar, making your insulin spike, burning out your pancreas so you produce no more insulin, and now all this sugar is circulating in your blood. Now, when we say sugar, why, why sugar circulating in our blood should be a bad thing? I told you we're in chemistry, we walk in chemistry labs. It doesn't stay in the form of sugar. It doesn't stay in the same carbohydrate, hydrogen, oxygen form. The more it circulates and not being brought into your muscles for energy, it turns into a aldehyde. So the easiest way for me to explain it to you a formaldehyde is like an abomin food. Okay? Because when she's sister said ferment, there's taking alcohols and ferment into sugars, right? Chemistry could be all chemistry. Mm -hmm. Chemistry right. So that sugar form, that glucose becomes like a formaldehyde. Abomin fluid. What does that do to your cell wall? It damages them. Mm -hmm. What does that do to your nerves? It damages them too. That's why diabetics cannot feel their toes, cannot feel their fingers. And when I say, what does it do to the arteries? I don't mean just the artery in your kidneys, which means you have to be put on one of these. I don't mean just the arteries to your heart, which means you have a heart attack, or the arteries to your head, which means you had a stroke. The arteries to your penis don't work either. That's right. Mm. And you cannot get, maybe not even, maybe you can get an erection, but you can't maintain an erection. That's right. Mm. And how does it affect women? In women, from here, basically decreased blood flow. So you may not produce as much um, secretions, vaginal secretions. Very true. But, if, but it affects the, but the men complain, in my population, the men complain more about the erectile dysfunction than anything. Okay. Um, the women complain about losing their hair more than anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just cultural. So that's how sugar affects your sex function.